We're going. How are you? Good. Everyone, I wanted you to meet Kate Winslet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on in. This is uh, Winnie. Winnie has a beautiful look. And if you kind of go in, you can kind of see. She reminds me of a young Kate Winslet. And when I was in Palm Springs doing a film festival there, Kate Winslet was backstage. She was giving an award, presenting. And it was cute because she had a letter that she wrote when she was a little girl. And it says, I want to wear tons of makeup. I want crazy clothes and costumes. And then it was cute because she's now that I'm older, she's like, I don't want to wear any makeup. I don't want to wear any clothes. <laughs> I love that about Kate Winslet. And she said lovely a lot. But she needed lip gloss. I had to like touch up her lips right before she went out. It was kind of cool. So I'm going to show you how quickly we have it on one eye only. So come on in here, Natalie. You can kind of see it. Close your eye. It's so natural and so soft and it just kind of glows. This side, we just have the Aquatique eyeshadow base on. And I have some new eyeshadows for you at home that are watching on Morning Makeup Call. So we put the eyeshadow base on. But the first color that I'm going to show you is a new one called Must Have. So, like it says, it's a must have color. Number 18 brush is the dual ended brush. It's nylon. These don't fall like a lot of those eyeshadows out there. Don't sweep it on. Close the eye and you're going to stripe the center of the lid. It's a wet peach color. Then just go a little bit to the inner corner and a little bit to the outer corner. And your whole entire lid is covered with very little movement and you got that peach on the lid. Now the next color that I have is called Waif. It matches it but it has no shimmer. We all tend to have more lines and wrinkles in the crease so I like to use a crease color that is more matte. Keep the eye open. Start in the corner and look at how easy this color is. Back and forth like a windshield wiper with brush number 17. Then as the color is blended off the brush just kind of blend that line away so it's just a really natural contoured eye. Easy, easy, easy. Now the next one, right? She's like, I'm gonna watch this so if I ever forget how to do it. It's a new color, it's a gray. It's called Clock Strikes 12. We're gonna use the angle brush now on number 18. We did the lower liner first. So turn your head over this way. Go ahead and look up. Now a lot of you at home, if you do eyeliner and you go underneath and try to tuck it underneath the lash, it still puts it on way too thick. I have a new trick. Set on your lash and it goes right in between each lash. It kind of falls into the cracks of each lash and it puts it on so much softer if you just tap it on like that. Then if you ever get a little bit too much on, you can just take your finger or a Q-tip and just smudge it out a little bit. We're going to do that same eyeliner. Clock strikes 12 with the number 18 brush. Close your eye for me. Just in the top outer corner like this. So. As Winnie's, you know, she's a dental, what do you do for her? Technician. Dental technician. She makes a lot of stuff for all those beautiful smiles out there, huh? Mm -hmm. Love that. So her eyes are really going to be a daytime. Now, I put one coat of this new doll lash mascara on Winnie, and when you look at yourself in the mirror, I loved your impression. Like, <laughs> have you ever seen lashes like that before? No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> did you know you had lashes like that? No, I did not. <laughs> so, that's what we love about this mascara, is when you can shock someone with a mascara. So it's Hypnos Doll Lash. You'll know it's different from the regular Hypnos because it has the little flowers all over that little packaging. And then the brush is that, remember I said it's like a Christmas tree? Mm -hmm. That cone shaped brush. Now how does this brush work? What did I tell you? It works because on the inner part of the eye, it gets the lower part of the brush and then on the outer part, it has the bigger part of the brush. That's right. See, so you can tell she's a technician. <laughs> Look up for me. Even, you know, a lot of people are spending money on buying these separate mascaras for the lower lashes. You can just take the tip of this and paint every little lash that you want right here. And it puts it on so much more cleaner on the bottom, so you don't need to go buy another mascara. Now look down for me. Start right here. Set it here. You can't go underneath, but I told her, put a little bit on the top first. What does this do, Winnie? It makes it so the lashes itself, um, they get a little bit more bold, but by going under, they curl up better. It curls up better, because if you have no mascara up here, when you put your mascara down here, it weighs them down throughout the day, and they fall down flat. And I think when we did this, I think what you were shocked at is your lashes were very curled and we didn't even use a lash curler. Yeah. So this gives you the curl that you want. See how the bulky side of that brush, everyone at home, gets those bulky lashes and it's winging them out like a 60s doll. That's why it's called that Hypnos doll. So we put that one coat on. We got no plumping and we got a big, huge, beautiful lash. Amazing. So that's kind of the look, everyone. Um, we've got just very new Top Miracle foundation on the skin. Very clean, keep it very soft and pretty like that for at home, so that's pretty much it. Any other makeup questions you have, Winnie? At the moment, no. Nothing at the moment. You see what we did? We got it all done, so 
Thank you for watching, everyone. You can find this on YouTube. You can also find it on my blog, Morning Makeup Call. And um, people are going to want to look like you. And we'll say hi to Kate Winslet at the same time. If you ever need someone to play your little sister, we got it right here. What do you say? Thanks, everyone. Bye.